Okay. So we'll just. Okay. So we are going to do a live restorative class today. Um, and for the class, you'll need two pillows possibly more. My pillows are like medium firm, so they'll work really well for this class. Um, and then we have three blankets. One of them is like um, a fleece blanket to put underneath your head. And then the other two are the Mexican blankets. <coughs> Excuse me, but you can really use whatever blankets that you have around the house. And then we'll also need... Um, a towel, this is just your average bath towel that we'll be using for the class as well. And if you don't have these items, um, there are other items around the house that you can use. Um, definitely grab some blankets. You might even need an extra one to cover yourself up if you get cold um, or anything like that. And so we'll be going through uh, four restorative poses today. Um, and after, at the end, we'll do a little bit um, of sound bath. And we'll be going through each of the energy centers of the body as we go through the restorative classes. So I'll be here to give distance Reiki for all of you that are tuned in. And so you'll be receiving that as well. And I'll just do my best to spoil you as much as I can from afar. Um, and this is what my normal uh, workshop at Prana Yoga and Dance looks like every Sunday. So if you do really love this and you're interested in finding out what it feels like in person, you're more than welcome to come to that once we are removed um, from this state order and we can go back outside. So with that being said, um, we'll go ahead and get started. So the first pose we're going to do is a little bit of a twist. So Alex is here to display the poses while I kind of instruct you and give you cues throughout the pose as well as give distance Reiki. So we have um, two, we have a blanket on the floor that's resting underneath his hip so that he can have a little bit of comfort um, other than this hard floor. And then we have two pillows stacked on top of each other. Again, I have about medium firm um, pillows. So he's going to bring one hip all the way up against those pillows, and he's going to lengthen his spine nice and long. A little bit of a twist as you gaze toward the pillows and then resting down along the pillows. And then I'm going to take the, blank, the um, towel that I folded in half, and then half again in like a hamburger, or a hot dog actually, and then half again in another hot dog. And then I'm going to place this right between his knees and his ankles as he stacks his shins on top of each other so that his joints aren't touching. So I know I'm not here to set you up, um, but I will give you as much instruction to allow for yourself to be set up as much as you can. And so he, um, do you want a pillow underneath your head? Mm -hmm. No? So you can put a blanket underneath your head if you wish. His head is pretty supported by the pillows themselves. So... We'll go ahead and we'll rest here for our first pose. So let your hip on the floor get heavy. Let the hip on top get nice and heavy as well. Let your spine lengthen as it relax, uh, relaxes. Let your head fully relax into the pillow. And if you have to uh, pause this video to go ahead and get your stuff, um, I will leave this up so you will have um, plenty of time to come back to it if you need to go run and get your stuff. But if we are settled in, just take a big breath in through the nose and a big breath out through your mouth. Releasing any tension that you may feel within the body. And just really letting it all go as you fully relax into this space. And we'll take our attention to the base of the spine where our root chakra lies. Going a beautiful red color. So maybe you can imagine a ball of light at the base of your spine.
and just feel the warmth of this energy center as you allow for it to take over the lower half of your body. Imagine that red light growing with each inhale. And then spreading a sense of groundedness, surrender, and security through the body. Feel the side of your face on the pillow fully and completely relaxed. Rest your jaw. Feel your arms fully relax into the floor beneath you. Feel the stillness of your body here. So try your best not to, hey, try your best not to uh, let the body continue to stir. We want to really work towards allowing for our nervous system to settle here. It has been a little bit on overboard the past couple days, past couple weeks. And so we want to do what we can to fully relax the body and let everything go in this moment. Feel the breath come in evenly and fully. And feel the breath go out. Smoothly and deeply. If you find that your mind is racing, especially with the most recent news, just come back to your breath. Come back to that visualization of that red ball of energy at the base of your spine. Keep the breath moving gently in and out. Fully relaxing, letting everything go, not thinking about what there is to do. There is nothing left to do in this moment, nowhere left to be. Just fully and completely relaxed. Feel the feet release, feel the hips release. Feel the head release into the pillow. You can feel the softness start to move throughout the body as your nervous system finally begins to calm, the mind begins to still, any remaining spaces of tension, just try your best to really let them go, sink into the pose a little deeper. Feel the warmth of this red light come down your legs as it fills you with that sense of security. 
so important during these times of uncertainty that we ground ourselves in a really wonderful, calm state of energy. Feel the eyebrows soften, the cheeks soften. Just really give yourself this gift of relaxation. Just a couple more moments here, really feeling the body released, focusing on clearing and cleansing that root energy center. Imagine that beautiful red light spinning clockwise at the base of your spine, clearing out any negative feelings with the assistance of the distance Reiki I'm sending. You feel yourself begin to root down in this sense of calm, this sense of peace. Take a big breath in through your nose. Fill all the way up with air. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Feel as if you're releasing anything that you no longer need. Next inhale, breathe in from the tips of your toes all the way up the body. A nice cleansing breath in. And open your mouth, a nice deep releasing breath out. Last one, big cleansing breath in, all the way up the spine, and open your mouth, a big cleansing, releasing breath out. And start to wiggle your toes, tap your fingers along the mat, and then begin to root down in your hands, nice and deep, as you bring yourself up to a tabletop position. And take a moment for a couple of cat cows. So shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. So bring your feet back a little bit. There we go. Inhale, let the belly button fall towards the floor. Chest peels forward, gaze goes forward. Exhale, curl the spine, arch the back like a cat. Tuck your chin into your chest. Beautiful. Inhale, cow pose. Lower the belly, pull the heart forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, maybe hold here, wiggle your tail back and forth. Nod your head, let any residual tension go. And come back to still in the center, let the opposite hip drop onto the floor. So if you wanna flip and bring the pillows this way. So other side, let that other hip come all the way up against the pillows. Lengthen your spine nice and long before resting down. Stack that towel between your legs so that your knees and your ankles don't touch. And relax your head fully. Come all the way down into this pose on the other side. Let everything go here. Make sure there are no creases in your blanket or your towel or your pillow. Just really let the nervous system have nothing to think about so that it may fully and completely relax. Settle into this pose, let the hip on the floor fully relax. Let the hip on top fully release onto the other. Relax into the side of the face, the side body. Fully relax the spine.
Take a big breath in through the nose and exhale, open your mouth, let it go as you deeply settle in. Letting the hands release into the floor. Letting everything go. And as we take our attention up to just beneath the belly button, to where our sacral energy center lies, glowing a beautiful orange color here. And this is your space of creativity and the space of our emotions. So emotions have been running high lately. So if you do feel any kind of emotion come up here, just Really let it flow through your body like water. And let it come up and out while your body fully release. And just focus on your breath and that beautiful orange ball of light just beneath your belly button. Let the eyes just gently rest the top lid upon the bottom, the forehead soften. And try your best just to let the mind go here. No need to think of anything left to do. Let the breath flow easy. Let the body fully relax. Let everything settle. Get that nervous system the break that it deserves. We've been in such a fight or flight mode lately with all that is happening. Just really let yourself relax into a more rest and digest mode. Feel the area of the low back release. Don't hold any more tension there. And if you have other things going on in your household, see if you can tune all of that out and just really tune into your breath. The best environment for restorative is quiet, but we're also working on the fact that we cannot control what happens outside of us. If you can just release that control and settle into the space. A couple more moments here, really relaxing the side body, relaxing the arms, relaxing the face.
take a big breath in through the tips of your toes all the way up your spine all the way in and open your mouth as you fully release two more just like that deep cleansing breath in through the root and through the sacral and all the way up the spine exhale a deep releasing breath out of your mouth last one big cleansing breath in Feel all the way up and exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Take a couple moments, wiggle your toes, tap your fingers on the mat. And then draw your hands back just a bit so they come along your sides and press up into that tabletop. Shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. And inhale as you come into that cow pose, lower the belly button, heart forward, gaze goes forward. And exhale, curl the spine, tuck the chin into the chest. So as we move through these cat cows, really feel as though you are moving the residual or stuck energy up and out. You can move through a couple. You can stay in one or the other and just hold. We'll work our way through one more. Really feel the release of that stuck energy or anything you need to let go of. And then inhale, come back to a neutral spine. And just drop onto one hip. We're going to come into the next pose. So we're going to use these two blankets or these two pillows again. And they're going to go. Um, do you want to flip them back again? Mm -hmm. They're going to go to your low back. So your low back is going to come all the way up against these pillows. You're going to extend your legs out long. You're going to take a big breath in. And as you exhale, arch up and over those pillows. And so Alex is pretty long. And these pillows, um, his head kind of comes off the pillow. So I'm going to bring a blanket underneath his head to rest. And then I'm going to take that um, towel that we were using to stack our joints, and I'm going to take it underneath his knees. Okay, go ahead and come down. And then I'm going to take our second blanket, our third blanket, and lift his heels and put it right under the Achilles so that his heels are not resting on the floor. They're, a little, they're supported here. His arms are down by his side, really relaxing into the floor. And his whole spine is long along the pillow. And take a big breath in. And then exhale fully. Let it go as you sink in. Feeling your collarbones spread apart, your shoulders draw down the back. Feel your neck nice and long here. Feel the head fully relax into that pillow or blanket. And come back to that space of really letting everything go. As you take your attention to just above the belly button now, but a low, below the ribs, to our solar plexus chakra area. This is the center of our confidence, of our willpower. And it spins in a counterclockwise direction. So it's very important that we focus on these next two energy centers as they are probably being the most affected during this time. So visualize that yellow ball of energy just above the belly button, rotating counterclockwise and growing nice and bright. And you can fully relax and close your eyes here. Because we have nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. Let yourself fully settle in. 
Give your body a full scan and really check in and see if you're holding on to anything, holding on to any tension. Really let as much of that tension go as you can. So your body can fully and completely relax. Soften your forehead and your eyebrows and let the top lids of the eyes rest on the bottom lids. Let your lips remain together, but draw your teeth apart slightly. Let the tongue fall to the base of the mouth. And really just feel this yellow energy center, the center of our willpower begin to ignite. The element here is fire, so maybe you feel a slight warmth here. We really need to keep our willpower going, keep our motivation and movement within our body here. And just allow for the stillness of your body in these moments to really stoke that fire, to keep it going during this time. I know sometimes it is really hard to not only relax your body, but to settle into silence. We chose not to play you any music today, so you can really turn your focus inward. Sometimes it's very difficult to sit with yourself and sit in the silence. Just know that I am here for you. And all the others that are joining us today are also here for you. And we're supporting one another in this release. This is a time for renewal. Spring has sprung, so really let yourself rest. Let yourself release anything that you don't need to carry any further into the year with you. your attention on that space just above the belly button. Just a few more moments focusing here. We feel heat, the warmth of the area. And now feel the backs of your hands really relax into the mat. Or if your palms are down, maybe turn your palms up towards the sky. Feel the arms fully relax into the floor. Feel the shoulders relax. Feel the space between the shoulder blades open up and release into the pillow. Feel the collarbones part. Take a big breath in through your nose. Fill all the way up with air as you feel the cleansing breath come in through the toes, up the root, the sacral, the solar plexus. And open your mouth, that deep releasing breath out. Big cleansing breath in through the bottom half of the body all the way up. And open your mouth as you fully release and let go. And last one, big cleansing breath in. Fill, 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 fill. Feel everything be pulled up through the breath in. And everything release through the breath out. And now take your attention to the center of the heart. So let your body relax a little deeper and take your attention to the center of the chest where our heart chakra lies. Glowing a beautiful green color. Really feel the space between the shoulder blades right behind the heart. Feel that relax and release as you let it drop into the pillows. And 
And begin to breathe in through your heart. So we aren't shifting the breath up into the chest. <laughs> We're shifting the breath up into the center of the heart. So feel each breath in come in through your heart. And each breath out go out through your heart. So that breath in, stop, stop it. Hey, that breath in through your heart, feel it glow, that green light even brighter. And that breath out through your heart, feel it expand out to all of the others that need a little extra comfort and love. Every breath in, feel it grow, that green light at the center of your chest, even brighter. And every breath out, imagine that love going out to all of those that may need it. Every breath in, come in through your heart and grow that green light brighter and brighter. And every breath out, send that love out. Maybe you begin to feel a sense of compassion and love come over your body. As you feel the others who have joined us this afternoon sending their love out to you. And maybe for the first time you just feel an overall sense of comfort and love come through your whole body. Feel the support we have for each other, whether we know each other or not. You won't hold anything back here. Really let that love out. Send it to others. Feel the hands released as you set free your control, your need to control the situation or anything at this time. Feel your heart really burst open with love and compassion and joy. And now keep this feeling, keep this feeling of love growing through your body. Just know that we don't have to focus, but we still have it coming in and going out. And we're going to shift our attention to the center of our throat, where a beautiful blue ball of energy lies at our throat energy center. So feel the back of the neck relax. Feel the tongue relax all the way down the throat. Feel the jaw fully relax. Feel the inner ears release and relax. And feel the breath come easy in and out through the throat. Allowing for the cleansing energy to come in and the releasing energy to go out. Now is a really great time for us to turn our attention inward and be able to speak freely and honestly with ourselves. to discuss and determine the things that we need to change, work on, grow. Just allow for this energy center to grow bright as we cleanse through this space. 
there is no more need for negative talk to ourselves or to any other. Just really let that energy dissipate through the body here. Let this blue light shine bright. With each exhale, feel yourself release any of those words you have been harboring, ones you weren't able to say in any type of argument, or the ones you've been holding on to. And with each inhale, feel that crisp, cleansing breath of air come in to clear this space. Feel your body relax into the silence, relax into the stillness. Let everything go as much as you can. And take a big breath in through your nose, fill all the way up with air, cleanse these five chakras we have cleared, and open your mouth as you release any residual energy. Feel the inhale come in and up through the base of your spine, cleansing, 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 and exhale, open your mouth as you fully and completely release. And one, last one, breathe in, cleanse them all out, let everything go. And exhale, open your mouth as you fully release. Now very gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. When you're ready, bend your knees, bring the bottoms of the feet to the mat. Don't come up. <laughs> Bend your knees, bring the bottoms of the feet to the mat, and let your knees fall over to the left as you curl up on the left side using your left arm as a pillow. Just take a moment on this left side to release. And so we worked through five of the seven energy centers we'll be working through this evening. So really let your body take a moment to release Recalibrate. No need to rush. And plant your right hand down and press into your right hand as you gently come up to a seat. Come up nice and slow. Don't rush. And we're going to come into the second to last pose of the evening. So there's a couple of options. We're going to use the wall, but if you are not next to a wall and you don't feel like reorganizing yourself, what we can do is you can, hold on, turn back around. You can allow for the pillows to come underneath your legs and you can lengthen through the spine as you rest the rest of the body down. Chasey. Hello, sir. And so there's a pillow underneath his head. Do you want to do this or do you want to do the other one? We can do the other one. Okay. So this is option one if you're not next to the wall. If you are next to the wall, you can go ahead and bring your um, bottom as close as you can to the wall. So he's going to bring his hip up first and then rotate his legs up the wall. 
Definitely bring a pillow underneath your head or a blanket underneath your head, wherever it is that you land. And I'm going to take a pillow and put it um, behind his legs, beneath his knees, or up in between his knees and his thighs so that he has something to really rest his legs against the wall on. And this will help him to be able to sit here for a while. And so he can pull the toes in towards his shins and flex the feet, or he can point the toes, or you can just let the feet fully relax and let go. Arms can come over your body as he has them, or you can bring the hands down by your side. And just fully let yourself relax here. Hello, sir. Let everything go. Let the back body sink into the floor or the mat. Let the head sink into the pillow or the blanket. And notice the blanket is just kind of cradling his head so it's nice and even with his spine. His head isn't too high or too low and his chin isn't tucked into his chest. So we want a nice even spine here. If you do prefer your head propped up a little higher, you can go ahead and do so. But take a moment for your body to feel that gentle dip of gravity on your feet, rooting your tailbone down into the floor. We're going to take our attention to just between the eyebrows to our third eye center. So with your eyes closed, you can direct your gaze up to between your eyebrows if you would like. And here in this space lies a beautiful indigo blue or purple ball of energy. This is our center of our intuition, that voice within our head that tells us what to do. And as you breathe in, feel this beautiful purple or indigo blue ball of energy grow brighter and brighter. Feel it begin to expand around your head, softening your eyebrows and your temples and working its way all the way around the head, just like a headband. Feel the back of your head fully release into the pillow or the blanket. Feel the spine let go. Feel the shoulders release. And know here that the mind may seem as though it is wandering, but there could be guidance coming in as we activate this center of our intuition. So the mind wandering is just kind of beginning to go through that checklist, but the intuitive messages are the ones that kind of come out of nowhere. So feel everything within your body soften and maybe you can begin to feel that deep sense of calm as you settle into your space of center. So Chase always tends to come around when Reiki is happening. So he is here soaking in the vibes and taking a bath, apparently. So know that him and I are both here spreading this love and this light. And just really let yourself settle in here. Let the legs fully relax. 
If you find yourself forcing yourself to hold them up along the wall, go ahead and take them down and just put the blankets or put the pillows underneath your legs. With this uh, pillow behind his knees, his ankles are allowed to relax onto his pillow, so it's helping support him as well. And so we shouldn't feel any form of tension or the need to hold anything. We should just feel our bodies fully releasing, letting go. Feel the breath going in nice and gentle. Let the body settle into this feeling of silence and solitude. And now, take a big breath in and see if you can breathe in through the center of your forehead, cleansing out that third eye center. And exhale, open your mouth, let it go. Big breath in through the center of your forehead. Maybe feeling the breath come all the way up to that space. And then exhale, open your mouth, let it go. And last big breath in, feel it come in through the base of your spine, all the way up your spine to right between your eyebrows. And then exhale, open your mouth, let it go. And now take your attention to the top of your head. The last energy center we'll work with this afternoon, our crown chakra energy center. Maybe you feel the tingle at the top of your head. But visualize a beautiful golden white ball of energy at the top of your head. Let the top of your head open like a lotus flower in full bloom. Letting that white light connect with the white light of everyone around you. All of the animals, all of the flowers, all of the trees, all of the things. Feel yourself begin to open up to this energy that we share with anything and everything around us. Maybe you feel the head get a little lighter as you open up to this energy. Just feel this gold and white ball of light floating just above your head, radiating outward to all of the other gold and white balls of light on the top of everyone else's head. Feel a sense of pure calm come over your whole body. As you fully settle into this pose, into this space of calmness.
couple more moments here. Just focus on the top of the head, that gold and white ball of light. Now we're going to stay with that feeling of the top of the head being open. We're going to take a big breath in as we cleanse all the way through all seven chakras in a big releasing breath out the mouth as we let it all go. Big cleansing breath in coming from the tips of your toes all the way to the very top of your head. And the exhale, open your mouth, let it go. And one more, big breath in, breathe all the way in, fill, fill, fill. And exhale, open your mouth, let it go. And now, if your legs are up the wall, you're going to gently pull the knees into your chest. And just roll over to one side. If your legs are on the pillow, you're going to do the same thing. I prefer the left side, and it looks like that's the <laughs> only side that we are able to roll on. So just take a couple moments on the left side. Use your left arm as a pillow and just fully let yourself release here. Let as much go as you possibly can. To be cleansed through all of these, but keep the top of the head open. We're going to do a little exercise where we wash this white light over us and send it out to everyone else. But just stay in this state of mind. And then using the strength of your right arm and the ease of your breath, gently bring yourself up to a seat. And before we come all the way down, we're just going to do a little exercise to kind of pull any residual energy up and out of the body. So you can bring your legs out long if that feels good, or you can bring your legs gently crossed. And we're going to take a big breath in and lean our whole body forward. Keep the spine as long as you can, and then over to the right. And then exhale, take yourself back and to the left. You can close your eyes here if that feels good. Inhale, bring yourself forward and to the right. And exhale back and to the left. So keep going with this movement, follow your breath. You can do big body circles here or small body circles. We're just taking any residual energy from any of those energy centers and moving it up and out of the body. So the next time you find yourself forward, go ahead and inhale to the left and exhale back and to the right. And a couple of times this way, Really focus on drawing that energy up through your inhale and releasing it out through your exhale. One more time around. And then inhale, come back to center. Straighten your spine, sit up nice and tall. Again, your legs can be crossed or they can be out long in front. And just take a moment, sit up tall, feel the energy coursing through the body. Feel this nice, gentle flow of energy moving up and down. And then we open your eyes. We're going to move into the last pose of the day. And so I want you to make yourself really comfortable because I'm just going to go straight into the sound bath from here. So we're going to come onto our backs. I'm sorry, sir. You're going to bring a pillow underneath your head. You can come right back, Chase. So we have a blanket underneath his bottom, so he has a little more comfort um, other than laying on this hardwood floor. Then I'm going to take that pillow, that um, folded towel once again, and put it underneath his knees. So his knees are supported. We want to try and fill any gaps within the body that are touching the floor. And then I'm going to roll the end of this blanket up under his Achilles so that his heels can rest on the floor. And if you want to cover up with a blanket, you can cover up with a blanket. Get yourself nice and cozy. Now, we took the body down pretty deep into a relaxed mode. 
So you may not think that you're going to get cold, but you, pro you probably will as we relax down even further. We're going to go through a yoga nidra to relax the body as much as we possibly can, and we'll go right into the sound from there. So take a couple moments, get yourself nice and relaxed. Feel the whole body begin to sink into the mat, sink into the pillows and the blankets, and whatever is fully supporting your body in this moment. Just really take this time to let everything go. And we're going to bring our focus back to the very top of our head. Feel that beautiful gold and white ball of energy glow once again. And feel it begin to cascade a white light down your head, trickling onto your shoulders. Feel this white light come down your arms over the front and the back of your body. Feel this white light cascade down your legs all the way to the tips of your toes. And as you breathe in, feel this white light cascade down your body all the way through your seven energy centers. And as you breathe out, feel that white light circulate from the tips of the toes all the way back up to the top of the head. Inhale, bring that white light from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. And exhale, bring that white light back from the tips of your toes all the way up to the top of your head. Feel your body come back into that space of comfort, fully relaxed, fully released. And then on your inhale, feel the white light expand out to the right and to the left. And as you exhale, feel it reach out in front and down beneath you. Inhale, expand out to the right and to the left. And exhale, reach out in front and beneath you. Feel the sense of your body being encapsulated in this comforting white light. allowing for you to cultivate this sense of calmness whenever you're feeling a little overwhelmed. And now as you continue to breathe in, feel this white bubble grow bigger and stronger. And as you exhale, feel this white light begin to cascade off of your mat or the area you are lying in. Fill the room that you are in. And then inhale, feel your white protective ball of energy grow brighter and stronger. And as you exhale, begin to feel that white light cascade out of the room and into the rest of your home. And then inhale, feel your white light expand and grow. And as you exhale, feel it cascade to your neighbor's home. And with each exhale, feel it growing brighter and brighter, traveling further and further until it fills the entire state. Then begin to feel it fill into the surrounding states. And 
all the way through the whole country. And eventually traveling all around the world, touching everyone, encapsulating all of us in this comforting and safe bubble of white light. And bring the attention to your right big toe. Fully and completely relax your right big toe. Your second right toe, your third, your fourth, and your right pinky toe. Feel all five of your right toes fully and completely relax. Your left big toe, feel it fully and completely relaxed. Your second left toe, third, fourth, and your left pinky toe. Feel it fully and completely relax all five of your left toes. The top of your right foot and the top of your left foot. The sole of your right foot and the sole of your left foot. Your right heel and your left heel. Your right ankle and your left ankle. The right calf and the right shin. The left calf and the left shin. The hollow of your right knee and the hollow of your left knee the right kneecap and the left kneecap. Feel both legs from the knees down fully and completely relax and release. The back of your right thigh and the back of your left thigh. The top of your right thigh and the top of your left thigh. Your right hip and your left hip your right set of glutes and your left set of glutes. Feel everything beneath your waist, your right and your left leg fully and completely relax. Releasing any last bit of tension as they sink into the mat and fully let go. Your low back, your middle back and the upper back Feel it fully and completely relax, melting like butter as it sinks into the floor or the mat beneath you. Your right side body and your left side body. The whole of the belly. The right lung and the left lung. Feel it completely relax, allowing for air to come in nice and gentle. The right side of your chest and the left side of your chest, the right collarbone and the left collarbone, the right shoulder blade and the left shoulder blade, the right shoulder and the left shoulder, the upper right arm, the right elbow, the right forearm, the right wrist. the top of your right hand and the palm of your right hand, your right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Feel the whole of your right arm fully and completely relax. Your left upper arm, your left shoulder, your left forearm, your left wrist, the top of your left hand and the palm of your left hand, the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger fully and completely relax. 
Feel the whole body from your shoulders down to the tips of your toes fully and completely relaxed. Everything letting go and releasing. Feel the back of your neck and your throat fully and completely release. Feel the back of your head fully and completely release. Feel the right side of the jaw, the left side of the jaw. Feel the chin, the right cheek, and the left cheek. Feel the lips gently relax and release. Feel the teeth relax and release as the lips stay together, but the teeth gently part. Feel the tongue relax and release all the way down the throat. Feel the right eye and the left eye fully release. The right eyebrow and the left eyebrow. The tip of your nose and the root of your nose. The right nostril and the left nostril. Right eyebrow and your left eyebrow. Feel the whole of your forehead and the top of your head fully and completely release. Feel your whole body fully relaxed in a state of pure and utter comfort. And allow for any residual resistance to leave the body with your exhale. And just let yourself fully and completely embrace the healing vibrations of the sound bowls.
as you feel the healing vibrations of the sound radiate through every cell of your body. Feel this level of comfort that we have cultivated today. And see if you can allow for yourself to bask in this moment, relax here. Harnessing this level of comfort within you to take you through the rest of this difficult time, surrendering to the experience. And start to deepen your breath. Let the breath begin to revive your body, waking it up subtly. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. And when you're ready, very gently bend your knees, bring the bottoms of your feet to the mat. But take your time. If you want to linger here in this feeling of relaxation, go ahead. And when you have bent your knees, go ahead and let them fall over to the left and roll all the way onto your left side. Use your left arm as a pillow. Curl up here for a moment. Let your body linger in this sense of release, this feeling of letting go. Knowing that you no longer need to hold on to this tension or this resistance. Give in to the flow of life. Let yourself surrender. On the strength of your right arm and the ease of your breath, very, very gently guide yourself up to a seated position at the top of your mat or wherever you may be. Legs can be gently crossed or out long, but we're going to take our hands to heart center, resting the thumb knuckles on the chest. Lengthen your spine as much as you can. Let your shoulders drop down. Reach the crown of the head to the sky. And take a moment here to just let everything settle into place. Maybe you feel the slight vibration of your energy centers as they are now cleansed and rejuvenated. And take a moment here to find gratitude to say thank you for whatever it is that you are thankful for today. You know, a lot is being stripped from us, but there is so much left to be grateful for. And then let's bow forward to honor ourselves and everyone else that joined us this evening, sending a little extra love and light out to them in these next few moments. And to all of you that did join in, I love and deeply honor the love and the light in every single one of you. Thank you so much for allowing me to virtually come into your home and practice with you. And we'll end this wonderful time we spent together by saying namaste. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening. See you later.